Okay, in this video, I'm going to look at the assembly for um, a wheel hub, and um, this is the front wheel from uh, the Shimano wheel set I bought. Um, the most important thing here is to have um, a good workspace. Here, actually, you can't see it, but I have this clamped into a wood clamp. So here, we've I've taken um, this off of the fork of my bike with a quick release, completely removed the skewer and um, just a normal adjustable wrench and these tools are pretty easy to find I got a pair of three which is a total of six si sizes one two on each uh, wrench, and it was just like five bucks or something. So I'm gonna slide this in. This there. Carefully, don't bang up your hubs when you're um, or the spokes or anything when you're doing this. So completely remove this piece. Put that to the side. Make sure you keep all the things you've taken out well laid out. And then you're going to unscrew the rest of this little axle here. Keep unscrewing it, but as you get closer, be careful because the bearings in here are actually completely free. Oh, I forgot. There, some of them have a little cover here to keep uh, grime from coming in. Usually, just take some like a flat, flathead screwdriver, pop it off this, put that to the side, same on the other side, there we go, and careful now because as I said, these bearings are completely free, they're not um, like the, in the headset video, uh, the bearings were on a type of ring, these are on their own, just kind of hanging in the in the cavity. So you remove this bit, which is uh, the bearings rub up against this here, and then carefully take the axle out, making sure no bearings are sticking to the grease on it or anywhere along it. And that looks like this. Again, same thing here as on the other side. Put these to the side. Oh, I forgot. You're also going to need a lot of grease for this. Now we're going to start on one side and actually take these bearings out with my finger as I pull them out. Here's another one. Oh, and these are all tiny. They look like that. Alright. Now all the bearings are out. This part's a little bit a little bit slow and tedious, but you're gonna take each one, wipe off the old grease, put them to the side, keep doing that. I'm not gonna do it for all of them because I've recently greased it. Okay, and now you're gonna get greasy, so you might just as well. fingers completely greasy. Take the bearings, get them nicely coated. And put them in a new newly greased pile. Alright, now get a nice piece of grease and then apply that to the inside of the bearing housing here. You don't have to worry about getting it spilling over into the edges, you can just wipe that off later.
do that to both sides. Now begin putting the bearings back in the housing. One. Two. Eleven. And just for good measure. Put some more grease on the top of the bearings. All covering grease, but that's alright, doesn't matter. It is kind of edible. Alright, moving on. Now you're about to put this axle back in, coat this up with grease. Just get it all nice and covered. Slide this in, make sure none of the bearings have fallen out or get pushed out by the by the rod. Alright. Now you put your other cap. Grease this one up nicely. A lot. If the wrong thing gets greased, it'll just get wiped off later when you kind of wipe down your bike. Right there. And start screwing this in until it gets touched tight because at this point you're not interested in tightening it all the way. All you want to do is make it so that the um, this, this cap here touches the bearing, keeps them enclosed but you don't want it to be tight because that's going to impede the wheels from actually spinning well. It's got to be just enough so that there's no play, which is a kind of back and forth, if I can... I don't know if you can hear that, but here it's still wiggling back and forth a little bit. You don't want this motion at all. Right, so this gets tightened against your this bolt here, the, the bearing cap. You're not tightening all of it together into the bearings. You're tightening this one against this one, which is why you're using this wrench here to hold this in place while you tighten this with a regular wrench into it. That'll keep it from undoing itself without tightening the whole assembly so much that the bearings no longer spin. So touch tight just so that there's no play, no back and forth motion but so that it still spins nicely and you can just test this out if I unclamp it touch tight you want it to spin evenly alright so and the only issue is that what's gonna happen when you tighten this even if you hold your uh, the bearing cap very firmly you will probably inevitably tighten it against the bearing a little bit so you have to kind of play around until you get it so it tightens just right anyway you put this cap on let me zoom in for you on this touch tight on this okay this goes on here and now Take your uh, your thin wrench. So now you're going to make sure to keep this hand here on this wrench as steady as possible. You're going to have to actually torque in the other direction as the, as your uh, adjustable wrench and tighten the outside um, flat piece against the bearing cap. Torque that. This needs to be tight. You don't want this getting undone. There. And now make sure that A, there's no play. Then make sure that it spins. Put these um, little guards back on. Alright. And that that's just about done.